Hi guys, hopefully all of you are doing well. Today we're going to be making my coconut pineapple layer cake. This cake is so delicious and moist. We're serving up nothing but true fluffy coconut and pineapple realness. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so we're going to start off by making our frosting and our filling first because I've found this to be very helpful and they're very closely associated. So we're going to start with the butter and the cream cheese and we're just going to whip that into this nice and well combined. Next we're going to add some powdered sugar and the recipe calls for about three and a half cups so we're just going to add a cup at a time, maybe one and a half to two cups yeah, and it gets messy but a little powdered sugar never hurt anybody. So just blend in a couple of cups first and then we're going to go in with our coconut extract and this is pure coconut extract. I'll put a link so you can find it in the description and then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of milk and just blend that together and then finish it off with the rest of your powdered sugar. Next we're going to toast our coconut. This only takes a few minutes. Go over medium heat and be sure and stay right there and keep that coconut moving. This is sweetened coconut by the way. Keep it moving and just toast it just a bit and then right after that you're going to pour it onto some parchment paper and spread it out nice and flat and let it cool while you do the rest of the steps. Now I'm going to take the time to whip up my heavy cream to soft peaks because we're going to add this to the filling. This is the part that is going to make the filling nice and light. We won't need to add any sugar to the whipped cream because everything else that's going into the whipped cream is already sweetened. So right next to the cooling coconut I have a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple drained because we are going to use some of that juice in the cake and we're going to use the crushed pineapple in the filling. So now we're going to work on the filling. We've already made our whipped cream which has no sugar in it by the way. And we're going to fold in some of the frosting. That's what I meant earlier when I said they're very closely associated. So that's why you make the frosting first then you move on to the filling. So that whipped cream is just making it lighter and more fluffy. And then we're going to turn around and add our crushed pineapple and some of our toasted coconut. Alright guys so it's a wrap on the frosting and the filling. Now we can move on to the cake. The coconut cake consists of three layers and we're going to begin by getting our dry ingredients together first. So I have some cake flour, some baking powder and some salt going through a sifter and I'm just going to sift that so we can aerate the dry ingredients. I'm breaking this recipe down in steps because this is the easiest way that I have found to make this cake. I've made enough of them now to be comfortable with this method. There is our pineapple juice and our buttermilk where I just pour them both together because I'm going to add them alternately with our dry ingredients. Now I'm just going to blend the butter and the sugar together until it's nice and fluffy. For the exact measurements check out gdseasoning.com for the written recipe. Trust me you will need it. <laughs> Next I'm going to add my five egg whites, a few at a time. I usually add about two egg whites at a time and blend those in really well. Followed by my combination of pure vanilla extract and more of the coconut extract. I didn't want to use all coconut extract because it just made it way too coconutty if that's a word. But the combination balances it out really well. And then we're going to follow that up with some sour cream. Of course adding sour cream along with the pineapple juice and the buttermilk is going to give this cake lots and lots of moisture and the layers are going to be really pillow like and cloudy. Now we're just going to start alternately adding our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients. First we're going to go in with one third of the dry ingredients and mix that in followed by half of the buttermilk and then the second third of the dry ingredients and so forth. Don't forget to stop and scrape down your bowl every once in a while to make sure all of your ingredients are well incorporated. Just as another tip, the other thing that I tend to do before I start to bake my cakes is butter and flour my pans. Get those all nice and prepared. So once my batter is ready, all I have to do is pour the batter into each one of them. As far as this batter goes, each layer is going to be just short of three cups. We're going to bake our layers at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick is inserted and comes out clean. Once the layers come out of the oven they're going to start to pull away from the sides of the pan a little bit and that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and invert them onto cooling racks and let them completely cool. In the meantime you can take a much needed break or you can go ahead and start cleaning up the kitchen. Our first layer goes down and I'm just going to put half of our coconut pineapple filling right on top 
and I'm just gonna use my offset spatula and spread it out. Be sure and leave one inch around the sides of the layer. I went a little too far, but what happens is when you put the second layer on, it's gonna push out a little bit anyway and you wanna give it some space. So keep one inch around the edges clean. See when that second layer goes on? You wanna give it a little bit of room to move. And then go on with the final half of your filling. My best description of this cake right now is it smells like a tropical summer. It smells like a cake that you would eat during the summertime. And that filling is giving you like ambrosia teas. Did you guys grow up eating ambrosia? Did your family make that? That's what this filling is like. And this cake is just really light and pillowy. And it just reminds me of something that we would eat during the summer. But if you want a little bit of summer during the winter and the fall, go ahead and make this cake. It'll get you there. Now we're just gonna take our frosting and go over a thin coat of the cake first and just get the entire cake covered on the sides and on the bottom. And it doesn't have really a whole lot of frosting on the outside, it has just enough. Just enough to cover the cake and then enough for the coconut to stick to. No, the frosting does not have to be perfect. Just get it on there as best you can and cover the cake. And now what I'm doing here is I'm just removing my little clean little safety guards here to try to keep things nice and neat and then I'm just gonna pick the cake up and proceed to coat it with the coconut I like to place the coconut on a big piece of parchment paper lay it flat that way I can hold the cake over the uh, paper and not make such a big mess and just let the coconut stick where it wants to the rest will fall away and you can go over the cake a couple of times depending on how much coconut you want um, on the outer coating of the cake. We're only working with a little over a cup of coconut. So just go around the sides and then hit the top also. You guys, I'm so happy to get this recipe done and over with. I cannot tell you how many times I've practiced and made this cake and reformulated it because I just wanted it to be so right for you guys. And I think you're gonna love it. It looks gorgeous and it tastes delicious. Like I said, the coconut, the pineapple, the fluffiness of the cake, the moisture, everything is just exactly what a coconut pineapple cake should be. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You know I appreciate it when you come and cook with me and hang out. Don't forget this recipe along with others can be found at gdseasoning.com and I'll see you guys next time.